My name's Christine and I'm from Canada and I this is the first time I've done um, the medicine or I've had the medicine. I, I think what brought me here um, was just a sense that like that I needed um, some good healing and I had some friends who had had the had gone um, to Brazil and and um, ended up having some pretty profound healing so I thought mm, this is for me so um, it was one thing led to another and here I am and uh, it's been uh, an amazing journey I had been working as a social worker and uh, in in a big children's hospital and had um, been working with families um, who in the ICU um, and who had lost a lot of sorry who had lost children and, and I had uh, worked with them through the death and, uh, deaths and the losses of their children and I felt that a lot of that pain and grief had um, entered my body and uh, ended up with fibromyalgia and uh, most recently I was uh, diagnosed with colitis and precancerous uh, polyps and just knowing that it was not getting better it was getting worse. I'd also suffered with um, quite severe meh, anxiety from time to time and um, I hadn't anticipated that that would be part of the package, but it, um, in terms of healing, but that's certainly something that I, I I feel has been addressed. So I really didn't know what to expect from uh, the ceremonies. Um, the first one, we had five five in total, and the first one um, I could describe as just a sweet introduction. And it was, um, yeah, it was an introduction uh, that I, I felt was very welcoming and wasn't scary. And, um, but I didn't really know what it should be looking like. Um, and then the second was, the second ceremony was quite dark and, um, difficult. I, I, I wanted to leave the ceremony. It was um, not an easy one to sit through. And then I felt like the third one would be the ticket. And it, uh, I ended up taking uh, a larger amount of the medicine. And my, my brain was just too busy and uh, wouldn't allow me to um, to give myself over to it to the process and so I was feeling very um, frustrated and angry and teary and feeling like well this obviously isn't for me it's not something that's going to uh, give me what I had hoped I would leave with and um, but then I talked to Carolina and and was what and I it felt better knowing that um, the medicine has works in very unique ways for everybody for every individual so the fourth ceremony was entirely different. I think because the medicine had made my mind quiet and ready for the fourth. I came to the ceremony feeling very calm and I, I was shocked by what I, I experienced and what I could describe it is that is that um, I had basically my hard drive had been cleaned and uh, and new 
mm. emotional and physical programs had been downloaded. Mm. That's probably the best way that I could describe it. It was an amazing experience mm. and something that I had never anticipated. But I know that uh, that it was very deep, and I'm excited to see what's going to happen when I when I go home. I can feel the difference. Mm. And then um, the last ceremony mm. was really focused on emotional well-being, and mm. it was a gift and and something that um, mm. I feel that my my spirit, my soul has been um, has been healed in a way that uh, is going to be beneficial, or not, that that's not even the word. It has is going to make a. It's just going to be a life changing um, healing. So, I know that you know, one of the things that I had heard was that, you know, it takes time to integrate these things and be gentle. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah. and knowing that, you know, I was kind of left with instructions, knowing what I needed to do. And, um, but I'm, I'm excited. Yeah. I'm really, really excited because I can, I can feel that my mind is calmer. And, um, yeah. and my spirit is too. So, it's, it's going to be an amazing journey. Yes. I, th I think the benefit of having only women um, for facilitators and for shaman, the shaman and um, the maestra, yeah. it, there's something really powerful about women being together and um, empowering one another and not taking each other's power away but um, really encouraging mm. and it there's a safety mm. about having um, mm. only women that mm. you know the last ceremony I was mm. I was listening to the songs and I could feel like the power in the room of the this mm. amazing circle of women that we had spent mm. you know it's a it's it's a lot to go through, and I couldn't have chosen yeah. a better group. Yeah. You know, I was really scared about what ayahuasca would do to my colitis. And I think the interesting piece was that when I would go to ceremony after drinking, um, it, uh, I didn't have any, any diarrhea. I didn't have any... Uh, it was like it just stopped during the ceremony and um, and I do notice that there's uh, there is a big difference with the colitis already and the fibromyalgia I can feel that my nervous system has calmed down and I think that the areas that had been um, having pain uh, I can I can feel as there's there's changes um what i know what uh, is that it's going to take time for it to you know the word was integrate it's going to take time for it to um to fully unfold and for the healing to really um come into effect so i'm i'm willing because i know that it's it's real and i know that it's going to happen and the changes that I've I've experienced so far m makes that really clear that it's I'm excited. The experience is uh, so abstract. It's something that you it's it you can't really explain fully and completely. Um, and I think that for everybody, it the experience is different. And each time that you have a ceremony, um, it's different. And I think that, you know, what I got out of this is that uh, the medicine didn't work the way that I had anticipated that it would. And, you know, I was like ready to go full, full force right off the bat. And that's not, I wasn't ready for that. And, uh, 
you know, the fact that my busy brain needed to calm down in order to have that, um, the, the big healing for the fourth ceremony. Um, I think that was really, like, I think what I take, take out of this is that I need to get out of my own way in many ways and that I, I attach myself to so many things that don't, I don't need to be attached to that cause suffering and um, you know there's that's that's a pretty big thing yeah